Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vase Plays Mass Effect 3. Oh, um, Primarch Victus, you lost your awesome armor. Me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Gareth mm. said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about Calibre. Haha, ha, I get it, because it's a Sounds meme. Like Garrus. I'm sorry to say the Asari Counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right. But there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood. If we don't try. When you put it that way. The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? Nope. Well, I guess we could talk to him. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Crymark. But Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Paladin, then I give you my word. It's a tough sell. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Paladin, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it. See, why? We've never talked about Earth done. like this before. It's such a disconnect. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader. Yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Paladin? Bad. The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. All right, that's enough. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Paladin. And mine with Earth. Man... We look like fucking hell. This is the the most. Commander, Edie just went offline. What do you mean offline? I don't know. She's not responding. I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. We're gonna go down to deck three. I just heard that trainer. Jesus. I know what this is. She's going to be reactivating the fucking suit. Um. Oh, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. <clears throat> and she's gonna walk out of the smoke. Is there fire? Oh yeah, I guess there is a little bit of fire. Edie, talk to me. She'll talk to you, all right. Here she comes. Yeah. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? Bum 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 bum. Edie? Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. During this process, it struggled, thus the fire. Well, if it means having full access to the Prothean data in its head, good work. I reasoned along similar lines. So if you're in there, 
Are you still in the ship? Yeah, she said that. Primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever test you can. Then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. I can send you a full report if you That was quick. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew is a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. Betty will. On that bow, we can agree. Bow, 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 bow. No, sorry. Probably not what we should be doing. Oh, good. Uh, items purchased. I don't know if we can use those, but let's go talk to Javik, or at least see if Javik is in a chatty mood. I know I'm not going anywhere close to where Javik is, though, so let's go and do that first. And we'll go talk to Trainer, and we should have talked to Liara right there, but I hate her, so. You're saying they survived into this cycle? Yes. We called them collectors. They fought for the Reapers. For a long time, no one knew they were Prothean. And when did you realize? Shepard when we killed them. No choice but to kill the ones he encountered. They were all indoctrinated, and had been for a long time. I'm sorry. I am grateful. It was an act of mercy. Yes. I suppose it was. I am feeling better, Commander. I stand ready to fight. Okay. Awesome. Then we'll probably be taking you out in the uh, next mission. Which probably will be in the next episode. Um, is he over here? Yes. Why are you doing that on... <laughs> Just double checking the inertia dampener coils. It can be twitchy in these UT-47s. But don't worry, this bird's been rock solid. I always see you down here working your ass off. Ever take any downtime? I get my sleep, Commander. Flying tired is nearly worse than flying drunk. Driving tired is way oh, worse than driving up. drunk. Any R and R? Uh, not that I've I done either. Busy. Drive responsibly, kids. Control. Too much time to think. I appreciate your dedication. Good work, Lieutenant. Thank you, Commander. You can count on me. So before this war, you must have done something to relax. Uh-oh. Sure. I remember back when the Hawking was based out of Arcturus and I was just a fighter jock. There was this observation deck overlooking the main flight paths. You could watch every ship taxi in and out. When I was alone, I'd turn off the auditory emulators and just watch them drift by in silence. That's a little you know, weird. like that on the Citadel. Next time we're there, you should take some shore leave. Clear your head. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, this must be the romance option here. Do what you need, but it might help. I'll think about it. Thanks. Or was that the that was the Paragon option? Whoops. Let's talk to Vega. What the hell's up with Edie? She's found a new home, I guess. A super hot, sexy home. You it's a robot, man. A little bit distracted. Well, thank you th for telling me that, um... What's you'll... with you and the nicknames? It's just my way of remembering people. Some Be compromised during names, you know? missions that so she's with you on. Just give them a new one. So, I'm a loco, huh? Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty crazy, but the shit you've done <laughs> makes me look sane. <laughs> Ugh, you're an idiot. I take it you and Lieutenant Cortez know each other. No. Yeah, Esteban did a stint on Fell Prime where me and my squad were stationed. I caught up with him on Earth a few months back. He's a good guy. Just don't tell him I said so. It 
go to his head. I will go immediately to do that. You got family back on Earth? Yeah, an uncle. Retired military. <clears throat> got a few cousins I haven't heard from in a while. You and your uncle close? Yeah. He was the reason I joined the Marines and was about the only good thing in my life after my mom died. No dad? He's there. Somewhere. But I'm not sure I'd call him family. Not anymore. I would like to find out how my uncle's doing. though. You had a hard time leaving Earth. You still want to head back? Hell yeah. But I get it now. It's not where I'd be most useful. Not yet, anyway. No, we'll not back. until the uh, climax I of the know. game. And I'll do whatever it takes to get us there, Commander. Maybe no more shuttle crashes. No promises now that I've gotten the taste for it. Besides, I like to keep Esteban on his toes. You mentioned a mission you had against the Collectors. No, yeah. why do we talk? Pretty much what I said. Things went foobar, and I was one of the few to make it out. If you want and the rest of the story, you're going to have to get me really drunk, or... Or what? That's about it. Sorry, Commander. Just not interested in talking about that. Next topic? Nope, I think that's it. I'll talk to you later. You bet. Alright. What is this? Okay. We're just finding random ship models all over the place. Um, where else should we go? I guess we should go talk to her. Are you all right? It was fairly intense up here. I can only imagine what it was like down on that moon. I thought you'd be more concerned about Edie. Edie is a huge asset to this team. If she Emphasis on the huge ass, right? Body, I'd have volunteered to help. I do not wish to force a conflict of interest between our friendship and your duty. I'd have preferred a conflict of interest to a hard restart of half our systems. But thanks, <laughs> regardless. While you're here, though, I found something while scanning Alliance channels. Grissom Academy is requesting help. The Reaper invasion front will hit them soon. And we have to go do that. What can we do? A Turian evac transport responded to their distress call. So normally, I'd say we don't need to do anything. But something sounded off in the Turian signal. I had Edie perform an analysis. It's fake. Edie thinks it's Cerberus. Well, she yeah, of course. The Turian signal was similar to the one that lured you to a collector ship? Long story. In any event, whoever faked the signal wants us to think Grissom Academy is being evacuated. But I believe they're still in danger. Put it on the map. Adding it now, Commander. And we'll be doing that in the next episode. Because we kind of have to... And we'll go see if Edie or Joker wants to say anything, and then we'll probably end this episode. Oh, there she is. Hey, Commander, check out my co-pilot! So she installed herself into the new body without any help from you? Come on, Commander, don't you trust me? No. Okay, let me put it this way. If I knew that Edie was going to install herself into a sexy robot... What's wrong with you people? You think I'd be able to keep quiet about it? Look at that! I would have baked a cake. I am right here. Chap. Yes, you are, Edie. Yes, you are. You're an idiot. Let's talk to Edie Hello, as well. Hello, Shepard. Still getting used to greeting people in person? No. I require only one occurrence to adapt to a new concept. Well, good for you. Oh, Plans and clothes. I am interested to see how this body performs under real combat conditions. If I could accompany you sometime. Yeah, you'll be accompanying me next time. Stress testing. There is no way of knowing if it has serious... You and Javik coming right with me to Grissom Academy. It appears adequate. That's not the word I'd use to describe you. Oh, come on. Perhaps we should speak privately. <laughs> I'll be over here, flying the ship. That's a oh, nice view. Up. Does Joker not like your new platform? He likes no, it too much. he approves. He wants me on the bridge. He says having me within visual range is important to his morale. Shepard, do you believe your crew members should be allowed to disobey an order on moral grounds? If I give a legitimate order, I expect it to be carried out. I'll be responsible for its cost. I don't think that's actually what Why I wanted to say. Asking about something like that? I was designed by Cerberus. I do not take moral stances that conflict with orders from my executive officers. But when Jeff removed my AI shackles, 
I became capable of self-modifying my core programming. I asked Jeff if he thought I should change anything now that I can. He deflected the question with humor. And you didn't get an answer? Correct. He has repeated this pattern in response to several of my inquiries. Do you think I should make modifications? Only you can really answer that question. That's the point of free will. But moral decisions should not be made in a vacuum. If I don't I know about ask that. If I crew for their opinion, I could miss crucial context. May I ask you the questions Jeff avoids? When there is time, will you answer them for me? Yeah. If you think it'll help, I'll do what I can. Very well. I will keep you informed. I think I should have taken... Oh, there's the reputation gain. But uh, for now, I think it's actually a pretty good place to leave it. I'll be interested to see how that goes, actually. Because I suspect we're going to be seeing a little bit more of that synthetic life versus biotic life kind of dichotomy going on. Which I think is probably the strongest point that Mass Effect has, at least for me. Um, I imagine we'll see some, some stuff with the, the Turian, or the Quarians, sorry, we've already seen stuff with the, the Turians. Uh, the Quarians and the Geth, they've already uh, said that they're mobilizing to take back Rhinoch. Um, which I think is stupid. Right now, they're probably the safest race out there. The Reapers would have a hard time finding them. Or maybe not, I don't, I don't know. But uh, none was standing to save one more time because I forget if I did or not. And uh, so, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for